Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Ritz. Today I am very excited to walk you around the all new 2023 Renegade Explorer 38 EMB. So the first 2023 that we've had hit our lot this year. So uh, for those of you who are looking for a Super C, something with a little bit higher horsepower, higher torque than what you find on the M2s, but you don't want to go to that 45 foot coach yet, this is the perfect coach from you, for you. Measuring in at 38 feet 6 inches, it's a little bit smaller than what you normally see in these Super Cs, and you still get a 505 horsepower, a 1850 foot pounds of torque, and a 20,000 pound towing capacity. So we're going to start by walking around the outside, then we'll head inside. Let's talk about some stuff that you can't see. Up on the roof, this particular coach is actually optioned out with dual satellites. So we've got a WineGuard RTT20B, which is an in-motion satellite for either DirecTV or Dish Network. And we've also got a uh, WineGuard Traveler, which is going to be Dish Network. So big Gerard awning here, and you will see this is a dual pitch awning. So it comes out, comes down a little bit farther, helps keep the shade against the coach. We've also got the LED light strip in the bottom of that awning. Now this awning is power extend, power retract. It also has the wind sensor built in. I'm gonna go ahead and retract it just so that we can get the sun showing on this midnight paint scheme. Exterior paint scheme on this coach is midnight. Kind of black, gray, silver, absolutely beautiful. And having the shade from the awning on it does not do it justice. So while that's retracting, in the sidewall here, we've got the 32 inch Samsung HD Smart TV. So this will connect to the internet and you can use all of your streaming services, Netflix, Hulu, Peacock, whatever you're using nowadays, you can absolutely put it on this TV. Now also on the roof of this coach, we have a WineGuard Connect 2.0, which is gonna be built in Wi-Fi. You can put either an AT&T or Verizon SIM card in there to have 4G LTE Wi-Fi wherever you are, giving you the ability to hook this TV to your Wi-Fi and stream your movies or TV or whatever you got. Down below that, we've got the Samsung uh, soundbar, which is gonna give us just a little bit better sound quality than what we get out of the TV. So in this front compartment here, we've got a little bit of storage. Now each of these compartments here on the passenger side are going to be 27 and a half inches deep. And then the door opening is 21 inches tall. This particular compartment is 42 inches long, just for some reference there. Now in 2023, we went away from the Magnum 3000 watt inverter and the Jaboni solar controller, and we went to a full Victron system. So we've got the Victron Multi Plus 3000 watt inverter, the Victron solar controller, and the reason they went away from all that, or went away from the Magnum and the Jaboni is the Victron is all built into one, making your integration and maintenance a little bit easier. Next compartment, massive storage here. This one's gonna be 56 inches long. Now in this here, we also have our slide locks. Renegade throw these, throws these in with every coach. Just something to put in uh, while you're in transit so that your slides don't start creeping out. We've also got two 110 volt outlets in that back or in the top left side there. So if you need power outside, we have it available. There's also a hole in the floor here. So if you have an extension cord, you can run it up through the floor into that outlet and still shut and lock this door. Next compartment, we've got the AquaHot 450D. Now this is going to be our heat as well as hot water. It's going to use either electricity or diesel fuel, just depending on what you have available. If you're in a campground, you have plug-ins, you can go ahead and run on electricity. If you're out boondocking, you can run it off of the diesel fuel to conserve some battery there. Coming to the back. So this compartment's a little bit different than the rest. So we've got a 40 inch, 48 inch wide compartment here, but down below, it is 60 inches deep. So this is back behind the drive to axle so we don't have to worry about a drive shaft running through the middle of the coach. So they were able to deepen this up a little bit. Now from here, it's still 27 and a half, but if you have some longer items, you can go ahead and tuck them in there. We also have two more 110 volt outlets as well as a 12 volt power source. So if you wanted to add an external refrigerator freezer or something like that, we have power in this compartment available for you. With every Renegade Explorer, you do get a couple extra floor tiles just in case you're ever to drop something, crack one, break one somehow. 
Um, you have them available, easy to replace. And then we also get the air hose, which is capable of filling up our tires, beach toys, whatever you need. I'll show you where to plug that in once we get to the other side. And then last compartment here on the passenger side, this one's gonna be 20 inches wide. And again, 27 and a half inches deep. But Renegade did a great job by using all the space available for storage. Now, before we walk around to the back, let's go ahead and just pan out again and get a good look at this midnight exterior paint. So there are no stickers, no decals on this coach. It is completely paint. It's gonna hold up a lot better over time. Now, another thing to mention is all of the windows on this coach are going to be dual pane tinted windows and they all open for airflow with the exception of the entry door window that is the only one that does not open. Coming around to the back of the coach, we've got the full fiberglass rear cap, LED tail lights, marker lights, reverse lights. Down below, we've got the three inch receiver, standard from Renegade, it does come with a Stinger, which has a two inch as well as a two and five sixteenths inch ball. That is going to have a 20,000 pound tow capacity and a 2,000 pound vertical weight capacity. So that's the tongue weight of your trailer. To the left here, we've got our seven pin connector for trailer brakes and trailer lights. And then the Voyager connection, if we're pulling a trailer that has cameras on it, we can actually display those cameras on the screen inside of the coach via that Voyager connection. And then over here, we have the prep for airlines, so if you're pulling a big trailer that has air brakes, we are already prepped for you. We don't have to do anything other than install the adapters. Coming over to the driver's side, this is going to be our power cord reel compartment. So there is a little bit of storage in here as well. Um, if you were the kind of person who's gonna have you know, a surge protector and that kind of stuff, this is where I would keep it. But we have our 50 amp power cord on a reel so it is a manual extend, power retract. There is a hole in the floor so we can run that cord out through the hole and still shut and lock the door. That is going to be a 36 foot cord. Now we also have two more 110 volt outlets so if you need more power on the outside, it's here and available for you. Next compartment, we've got the Onan Quiet Diesel 8000 watt generator. Now this is gonna pull directly off of our 120 gallon fuel tank in the front, which we'll get to in just a little bit, but 8,000 watt diesel generator. And then the water compartment. So in here, up top and to the left, we've got a whole house water filter. That's gonna filter water coming in through the hose into the fresh water tank. Water hose reel tucked back behind here. So again, or manual extend power retract gray and black tank dump valves tank fill valve and then a little bit of hose storage now for those of you who watch me frequently you're going to hear this every time i do a renegade video talking about their bay doors so something renegade does different is we have dual swing hinges or dual hinges as well as dual latch points an insulated door and what that does is just gives you a nice clean the crisp closing door without ever having to slam it. These next two compartments are going to be our gray and black holding tanks. So both these are heated. They have heat strips on them as well as a heat register underneath. 75 gallons each. So we have 150 gallons of fresh water, 75 gray, 75 black. And then last but not least on the driver's side. So this is gonna be our battery compartment. Now that air hose that I talked about on the other side, here's the connection for it. Now I do like that Renegade puts it there. If you look at all the other Super C's on the market, it's tucked way back into a bay to where you would really have to fight to get it in there. Renegade puts it right up front in the open, unobstructed, nice and easy to access. Now this coach has the option for the two 260 amp hour Dragonfly batteries. So 520 amp hours total of lithium batteries. And then up top here, we've got our three 12 volt chassis batteries. Those are just gonna be used for starting the engine. Now here, we've got a false compartment that's gonna go ahead and hide our 100 gallon, or 120 gallon diesel fuel tank. So underneath the driver's side step, 
We've got 120 gallons of diesel fuel and 13 gallons of DEF. Now, this coach does not have saddle tanks. All 120 gallons are right here on the left side. It limits you from, ha or it keeps you from having to go to a station that has dual side fuel fills available. Now, I mentioned it before, but the Renegade Explorer 38 EMB is built on the Cascadia P4 chassis. It is powered by a DD13, which is going to produce 505 horsepower, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. Now this is what's great about Super C. So everything that you need to access is right here, it's available. So let's look right here. We've got coolant, easy to tell where our coolant levels are at, engine oil dipstick, engine oil fill, power steering fluid, not that you should ever have to do anything with that, but also look, and we have frame rail up here. So if you were ever in a front end collision, we have some barrier between us and whatever we hit. Come around to the other side here. So not as much to see over on this side, but we do have our windshield washer fluid fill, oil trans or, or <laughs> transmission oil dipstick, as well as transmission oil fill, and then air dryer, which you'll want to have replaced periodically. Go ahead and close this hood back up. Now, Freightliner does an awesome job with these hoods by making them a dual gas prop assisted hood so that I don't have to hold on to it and risk getting pulled up over the top of the coach when I'm closing this hood. So I actually have to push on it just a little bit in order to get it to seat down correctly, um, which is just a nice feature, a good safety there. Now, on the Cascadia P4 chassis, we do get the Detroit Assurance package. So that's gonna be this little rectangle here. Now with that, it's also going to integrate the camera that you'll see up in the middle of the windshield there. I hope you can see, you might not be able to, but basically with that Detroit Assurance package, we're going to get adaptive cruise control, which is adjustable from 2.4 up to 3.6 seconds. So that'll slow you down and speed you up with the flow of traffic rather than you having to turn the cruise control off um, and do it manually. We also get lane departure warning as well as collision mitigation and uh, blind spot monitoring. But Blind spot monitoring on the Cascadia P4 chassis is a little bit different from what most people think. So really, it's just gonna be this one single box right here. Now, the reason we do this is because when you're sitting in that driver's seat, if there's a car right here, you will not be able to see it. Now, we have a mirror up top there, which assists with that, but it's still not perfect. So Freightliner did a great job by putting that blind spot monitoring right there. Now, if you start to come over, or you turn your blinker on, it's gonna give you an audible warning in the cab to let you know that it's not safe to come over. Let's get one more good look at the outside of this thing before we go inside. Now guys, this coach is currently sale pending, but I do have a couple more 2023 model year order slots available for the Renegade Explorer. Some of those I can change options and colors and features to make it exactly what you want. If you guys are interest, interested in that, feel free to give me a call. I will give you my phone number at the end of this video. So before we go inside, one thing I love about Renegade Explorers is we do have the keyless entry. So from here, we can unlock the door as well as all of our bays underneath. So we have power bay door locks as well as a power entry door lock. Now, when we lock this, it's only gonna lock the handle, not the deadbolt. So it's not the most secure way to do it. But if you're just running out for a few minutes, you can just go ahead and lock it, do your, uh, do your thing and then come back put in your code and it'll unlock. We will teach you how to set your code prior to you leaving our store. So as we come in here, I did leave all of my slides closed up for this 2023 Renegade Explorer, just so that you can see the space that we have while we are in transit. So from the cab, tons of room in here. Switch places. Now walking back through the, through, uh, the couch and the dinette, tons of room, really no obstruction there. Into the kitchen, I mean, I can almost lay down here. Cooktop, refrigerator, one of our pantries, the other pantry, bathroom, and then of course the bedroom. We still have full use of this bed, even with this coach completely closed up. So let's talk about this screen here in the middle before we move too much farther. Go get this generator fired up and turn the ACs on. So here in the middle, we've got our Firefly screen. So this is gonna be our main coach controls. So here at the home screen, we have a light master on and off switch. 
Fresh gray and black water levels. Again, we have 70, er, 150 gallons of fresh, 75 gray, 75 black. Turn on the water pump, turn on the tank heaters, start and stop the generator, see what our battery levels are at, as well as our climate control stuff. Next page, we're gonna have interior, exterior, and just master lights. Next page is going to be our power control settings, climate control settings, uh, satellites, TV lift and overhead fans, slide outs and awnings, and then the settings page. Now it's kind of cool, Renegade, or Firefly put this in, puts this in here. So basically we can look at what is working and what is not on this Firefly system at any time. Now that was a very quick run through, but um, there's not a whole lot that you have to know about that. We go through it very in depth when you actually come and pick up your coach. But one thing I did want to point out about that screen there is anything that we can do on it, not anything, but the vast majority of what we can do on it, I can also do on my cell phone. So you get the Mira Vega Touch app. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put my slides out from my cell phone. Now, while these are opening up, I mentioned I'm gonna turn on my generator so I can run some air conditioning in this coach. Up top here, we have two Coleman Mach 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat pumps. So those are going to be an additional heat source for us in conjunction with that Aqua Hot 450D that we saw on the exterior of the coach. Now, opening up your slides from your cell phone while you're standing in it might seem a little bit silly, but what a really cool thing that you can do with this is if you're outside the coach, let's say you pulled into a kind of tight parking spot or campsite, you could be outside your coach using the app and watching your slide come out. So let's say you have a tree over here on your driver's side. You could be watching it to make sure that you're not hitting that tree, doing damage to your coach. And that's more so what the app was made for. Go ahead and do these rear two slides. Now the 38 EMB is a quad slide model. So it does take a little bit longer for me to get these slides open. And last but not least. Now, other things we can do from this app, um, I can adjust my automatic gen start settings. Automatic gen start is gonna be an emergency system that basically will kick the generator on if you were to lose power in the coach. Um, keeps your batteries from dying. It also can help keep, it can also cool the coach down. Let's say you have a pet in here and for whatever reason you lose power at the campsite. It can turn on, kick your air conditionings on, cool the coach down to make sure you don't come back to a you know endangered animal. Um, we can adjust our climate control, we can adjust lights, um, extend and retract slide outs and extend and retract awnings, start and stop the generator. Um, there's just a ton of stuff that we can do from this app and we will teach you how to use that once you come for delivery as well. So we're gonna start in the back of this coach in the bedroom. So one thing I love about the 38 EMB and the quad slide model is just how big the space in this bedroom is. Now, this particular coach was optioned with a 60 by 74 queen bed. Standard from the factory, it's gonna come with a 66 by 74 king bed. Now, with the 60 by 74, we do get the little nightstands kind of over here on the side of the bed, just for somewhere to throw our stuff while we're sleeping. On both sides of the bed, we do have opening windows so that if you're the kind of person who wants that cross ventilation, you can absolutely open those windows. Up top, storage all the way across. There we go. Storage all the way across the top of that bed just to make the most of the available space. Now, Renegade, being a very good manufacturer, puts their 150 gallons of fresh water right here underneath the bed in the, be in the bedroom. So we have two tanks, 75 gallons each, totaling 150 gallons. This is important because this means that all of your water lines are inside, they're insulated, you don't have to worry about them freezing. Your water pump sits right here. If you ever need to change it out, it's easy to access rather than trying to fight back into a bay like they used to on the older coaches. It's also easy to, if you for some reason have an issue with the tank sensor, you can just look at it and tell how much water you have inside those tanks. Opposite of the bed, we've got hanging wardrobes. 
Now, this one has a removable floor, so if you've got longer dresses or something that you're taking camping with you, you can run them through there and all the way to the floor. But that is set up currently for a dual hanging wardrobe. 43 inch or 32 inch Samsung HD smart TV again. Solid surface countertop out down below, phone wallet keys before you go to bed. More storage over on the left side. On the right side here, that is going to be our AV compartment. So if we're gonna use one of those two satellites that we have on the roof of this coach, this is where we're gonna put our receivers. It's also come standard with a Sony Blu-ray player. And then storage, just the extra wardrobe. Now, every drawer in this coach is going to be dovetail construction and quiet closing or soft closing. So you don't have to worry about someone slamming them and doing damage to your drawers. Coming into the center of the coach, we've got the Splendid stacked washer dryer. Now, these hinges do open up nice and wide, which gives you a lot of space here while you're doing your laundry. And then on the 38 EMB, we do get the center bath. Now this shower is about 35 inches by 25 inches. Um, nice and big in here, plenty of room. We do have the glass shower enclosure. And then for the shower itself, we do get the removable wand so we can move it around rather than trying to move around the water. Nice and big, very residential feeling. Now, back behind the mirror, we do get a medicine cabinet, more storage over to the right of that, solid surface countertop with the undermount sink, two 110 volt outlets, and then just more toiletry storage down below. Now, Renegade does put electric flush macerating toilets in the Renegade Explorer. So a little bit more sanitary than we're used to with just our gravity dump toilets. Here in the center of the coach, this can act as another pantry or you can remove these shelves and we have a hanging bar in there so you can also use it for additional um, hanging storage. These shelves are adjustable up and down as needed. And then here we have our fuses and circuit breakers for the coach. Now that's gonna be mostly our 110 volt stuff. So that's gonna be things that are run off of the generator or the inverter. More storage. I think the 38 EMB is a really cool floor plan because they did just tuck storage everywhere, which makes it very functional being only 38 feet, six inches long. Which is going to bring us to the kitchen. So let's start off with an 18 cubic foot Samsung French door refrigerator. Now. With this coach not having any propane on it and it being all electric, we have a residential refrigerator. So a lot of people don't understand how that works. Basically that inverter that I showed you down below, that Victron inverter takes the 12 volt power from your batteries, converts it, inverts it to 110 uh, volt AC power. And that's what runs the refrigerator, your outlets, microwave. Um, so basically, you do not need to run a generator, you do not need to be plugged in in order to run this refrigerator. Um, you just have to have that inverter on, which is how you're going to travel inverter on, refrigerator on. Okay. Now, I didn't mention it outside, but in conjunction with those lithium batteries, we also have 525 watts of solar on the roof, which is going to charge those batteries up. So if we're out boondocking, we have a power source at all times when it's sunny outside. More storage in the kitchen here. Now, in ev almost every cabinet here, these shelves are adjustable up and down. So we can really optimize that storage for your needs on your day of delivery. Subwoofer underneath the couch or underneath the countertop there for better sound quality when you're watching TV. Three massive drawers. Again, all dovetail construction and soft closing. More storage. Now, and then more storage. So up here, solid surface countertop, two burner, true induction cooktop. 
with the covers so that you can use this as prep space before you start cooking. Samsung convection microwave. More storage up above. Now in there right now, we're gonna see all of our manuals for the coach. Now there's two different stacks there. The ones on the right in that binder are gonna be the Renegade manuals. The ones on the left are going to be the Freightliner Cascadia manuals. I mentioned it on the outside, but all of our windows in this coach do open. They are dual pane tinted windows and they're storm windows. So they just pop out from the bottom. So you can have them open in the event of a rainstorm, thunderstorm, snowstorm, so you can still get that airflow. Now with that, all of our windows are also gonna have a day shade as well as a night shade that pull down from the top. And then going back to the kitchen, stainless steel undermount sink with a residential faucet so you can do your dishes a little bit easier. And then let's flip over to the other side. Absolutely massive rollout drawers here. Now you can use this for whatever you want. Personally, I'd probably be using it for pots and pans and cookware, but they are huge and a great flexible space. Now with that, you also get this massive countertop up here. So for those of you who are big coffee drinkers, you wanna take a Keurig with you or something, you could get those little double-sided tape strips Put them right here on this countertop. You have two 110 volt outlets there and place your coffee maker on this countertop without ever worrying about it flying around or blender, toaster, whatever you got. Um, great, splay, great space. Up above that, we've got another AV compartment. So if we're gonna use one of those two satellites on the roof, this is where we're gonna put our receiver for the living room TV. Again, we come with another Sony Blu-ray player. And then, for the living room, we get a Samsung 50 inch TV on a televator. Now I love televators because you've got that nice big window behind the TV here. If you're not watching TV, you put it away, you still get all that natural light. If you are watching TV, well you just lost the window. But another 50 inch Samsung HD TV, again smart TV so we can use all of our streaming services on it, as well as another Samsung soundbar built into the sidewall up top there. And then 38 EMB, it's a little bit different just because you get the two person dinette with cup holders and outlets. So if you need power at your dinette, you have it available, but this is as big as it gets. And then opposite of the dinette, we're going to have the theater seating. Now standard on this coach is going to be um, a sofa with a pull out bed. If you go with the theater seating, you lose the bed. So presently, this coach only sleeps two people. Now, with that being said, we have an absolutely massive floor here. So it would not be hard to bring a, you know, an air mattress if you had to have someone sleep with you or stay with you. On both sides of the theater seating, we do get these little pop-in trays just for a little bit of space to work while you're sitting at your table. Power extend, power attract on the recliners, and then a huge storage compartment right here in the middle. And then, up above, just more storage. Now, I forgot to mention it earlier, but going back to kind of your climate control setting stuff, this floor is heated. It is an option on the 38 EMB to have a heated tile floor. It is dual zone control. So you're gonna have front zone, rear zone, so you can have it set to different temperatures um, as needed. So just kind of a cool little feature that you don't see in a whole lot of Super C's. Up above the cab, ton more storage here, but right here we've got the control for our WineGuard Traveler. Again, this coach is optioned with a WineGuard Traveler that is set up for Dish Network. We can set it up for DirecTV or you can order it with no satellite at all. Up above, we have the WineGuard Connect. That's gonna be that Wi-Fi system I mentioned on the outside. This is just the power switch for it. Over cab, or cab overhead lights and then the equalizer automatic leveling system. And then last but not least, over on the left side, two 110 volt outlets and more storage up above the cab. All right, so let's get into the cab of this Renegade Explorer. So both our driver and passenger seats are going to be heated as well as air ride. So push a button here, 
It's going to lift that seat up. Really what it's going to do is kind of move with the road rather than you having to absorb all of the energy from, you know, potholes and that kind of thing, especially as Colorado guys. Um, so we have air up and down, air lumbar, and air lumbar again. So two different adjustments for lumbar there. And then push the button the opposite way, and it'll go down to the floor. Go and fire this thing up. So over on my left side, on the driver's door console, we've got power automatic windows, um, power locks for the cab, mirror heat, and then power adjusting mirrors. Up top here, we've got the air horn, and then down on the steering wheel, the city horn. Now, I absolutely love the cab of the Freightliner, or of the Cascadia P4 chassis. Um, the wing dash is something we don't see in the M2s on the RVs, um, but really it's so much easier to look and see what's going on with your chassis when this dash is looking at you rather than facing kind of away from you. So we're going to start over here. We have a 12 volt power outlet, cigarette lighter, 12 volt power outlet. This is a camera selector. So I mentioned that Voyager connection on the back of the coach. Basically this is going to select whether we're going to use the cameras on the truck or on the trailer. Over here, USB as well as your auxiliary in if you want to use auxiliary to run your phone, uh, your phone through the radio. Kurt integrated trailer brake, transmission temperature, auxiliary air pressure, and trailer brake air pressure, or trailer air pressure. HVAC controls, and then we've got two switches down here. Now these two are very important. The one on the right here is a release for the rear air suspension. Now for when you're leveling, you can actually release that rear air suspension and get yourself a little bit more level before you even start. Give your uh, leveling system an advantage. And it also helps if you're trying to back it into a shorter building or back it up under a trailer that's a little too low. Um, tons of different things you can do with that. Next, we have the differential lock. So what that's gonna do is lock our drive tires together, get them turning the same speed. Really helpful in those slippery situations, you know, if you had getting up in an ice storm or something. Um, locking those to get two together gives you much better traction. Engine shutdown override, if you ever had this thing die for some reason or turn off on the side of the road, you can actually override that. Now, I always recommend before you override that, call a certified technician or a certified service center. Tell them what's going on and see if they think it's wise to override it. Lane departure warning off. So push that button, it'll get rid of that haptic feedback. Traction control, utility lights, dome lights up above my head footwell lights down where my feet are so if I accidentally drop something I can see what's going on down there regeneration switch and then my favorite switch is your light test so if I push that button it's gonna cycle through all the lights on the coach your blinkers your tail lights your reverse lights uh, all of them and it works for the trailer as well so that if you're getting ready for a trip you hook up your trailer hit the light test button just walk around and you can watch all your lights come on and off in sequence so that you know that everything is working correctly up here we've got the Garmin head unit now this is going to be AM FM Bluetooth and Sirius XM radio as well as built-in navigation now the navigation in this is pretty cool basically what it's, we're going to do is set the parameters of this motorhome in your navigation system and it won't take you on routes that you cannot make it down so we're going to tell it that it's 13 you're 13 feet 2 inches tall 38 feet 6 inches long um, of GVWR 41,000 pounds and then it won't take you on roads that are either closed, too narrow, too short bridges, that kind of thing, all built in right there. Now the other cool thing about this is it is removable. So if you want your passenger to go ahead and set up your navigation, you just pull this off of its docking station, hand it over to the passenger seat, and they can run through all of your navigation settings without you having to take your hands off the wheel. Up top here, new for 2023. We have the built-in Voyager 7-inch camera screen. Now, in some of my Renegade Explorer videos and Verona videos, you've seen me talk about these because I add them to a lot of coaches, so now they're standard on the 2023s. But basically, this is going to be all of our cameras. So right blinker, I have slides open, so it's going to get a little funky. Left blinker, and then dedicated to the rear view when you don't have blinkers on. Now, if I put the coach in reverse, we do get our grid lines so that we know how far away we are from an obstacle behind us. But this is so much better. The Garmin screen here in the middle is really great for navigation, navigation and such, but it always had some issues with some cameras. So Renegade did an awesome job listening to its customers and adding that dedicated camera screen up in the overhead. 
over here on the steering wheel we've got just a couple controls so first i can increase or decrease the volume of the radio and then my dash navigation is going to be these four arrows and the ok button on the side so i can look at things like trip uh, miles per gallon in 1253 miles it looks like the driver averaged 8.3 miles to the gallon which is pretty good for a 41,000 pound motorhome keep scrolling through this is just going to be our legs you know kind of a trip a trip b so you can monitor how many miles you've gone you know what your gas mileage is that kind of thing over to that or over to the next one we have our driving assistance so if i go into the settings on this one i can adjust that following distance from 3.6 all the way down to 2.4 seconds so what that is is the distance behind the car in front of me so if i have the cruise set at 70 and the car in front of me is doing 70 i'll be 2.4 seconds behind them all the way up to 3.6 if they start slowing down the coach will automatically start slowing down if they speed up it'll take us back up to 70. tire pressure monitoring is standard on the renegade explorer so we get all six tires there built in That one will tell you if your differential lock is engaged. And then here are some of our gauges. So we can look at things like oil pressure, turbo pressure, transmission temperature, um, rear axle temperature, which is an important one for those of you who are going to be pulling bigger trailers, air pressures, diesel particulate filter. That's going to tell us if we need to regen or not. And then back to tire pressure monitoring. An alert screen, so if we have an issue with this chassis, it will tell us on the screen and let us know if we need to get into a service center. And then this is going to be our settings for the dash. Now for actual gauges that we have full time on the dash, over here to the left side, we have the tachometer, oil pressure, fuel and def, uh, tank levels, speedometer, primary and secondary air levels on one gauge, and then our water temperature. This dash in particular is just incredible. It is so simplistic, um, very easy to read. You know, you look down at it quickly, you'll know exactly where you're going. Uh, super easy, great dash here. Now with the DD13, we do also get the Allison 4000 TRV automatic transmission. So that is going to be a six speed automatic transmission and it is controlled right here on this stock. So forward for drive, middle for neutral, backwards for reverse. And then we do have the option to put it into manual mode for those of you who like to do that when you're pulling steep grades, that kind of thing. To shift it up or down is just going to be moving the stock up or down. And then it also controls our engine brake. So with the DD13, we do get a three stage automatic engine brake. So if I go all the way to the top, first detent is low, second detent is medium, and third detent is high engine brake. Ryan, would you have a question? Okay, we have a question. to know if you have to have a CDL to drive this unit. Okay, so Keith just asked the question, do you have to have a CDL to drive this unit? And the answer is in Colorado, no. So it depends on which state you are from. Colorado does not require any special endorsements. I know Texas requires a air brake endorsement. Uh, Pennsylvania requires something else. But really you need to check in with your local law enforcement and see if you need a CDL. But if you're from Colorado, you need nothing. Um, I do recommend going to driver's training. You know, it is a 41,000 pound, 38 foot long vehicle that you're gonna be driving at 70 miles an hour. So having driver, driver training and some emergency, you know, situation um, training definitely helps a lot with driving these coaches. So, and guys, I think that's honestly gonna wrap up the uh, walkthrough of this 2023 Renegade Explorer 38 EMB. Guys, if you have any questions about this unit, or you wanna to talk to me about one of my open order slots, please feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.